Welcome to this week's video. This is Dr. Barry Burns with Top Dog Trading and today we're talking about stock market double top trading chart patterns and we'll also look at double bottoms. So here is the way that people get this wrong. I'm going to show you how the professionals do this as opposed to amateurs and the devil's in the details like a lot of things when it comes to the stock market trading these double bottoms, double tops. Um, the chart patterns are very, very um, detailed and very important. So the problem that I find some people having is they'll look at just something like this. They'll see this high and they'll see that high and they'll say that's a double top. Okay, that is not technically a double top. That is just, I would just call them even highs. And the reason is the first thing you need to get a stock market double top um, trading chart pattern is you've got to have a trend and the indication of that is the word top. We're looking for the top. We're looking for the end of a trend. That's really the point of this pattern. So this is not a trend. That is just a half cycle move. A trend is a long term move. So let's scroll forward here and let's find a real trend. And there we go. So great, okay, here we go. So now we have a trend. Now the average trend lasts five waves. So as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, and five. That's your average trend. That's the sweet spot for a trend to end. Now I'm not talking about Elliott waves here. If you wanna learn how I count waves, be happy to show you that another time. It's actually pretty darn simple, but it's much more objective than Elliott wave. So the wave counts don't change, they, they stay. But you can get more than five waves the way that I count them. So, but the average, mathematically, is five. So we're not even going to look for a double top until we get five waves. So for example, I mean, even here we see we've got what some people would see as a potential double top there. Again, those are just even equal highs. Um, that is not where the trend ends. So the trend started way down here. And then we go up here. So this is it. Now, now what we're looking for is a retest of this high. So rule number one when it comes to double tops is we're not even looking for them until we put in at least five waves. And again, you can pretty much see it. Basically, when I'm talking about waves, I'm just talking about higher highs, higher lows. But there is a uh, candlestick rule that applies as well, which is why that is a failed three and that's a real three. So this little candlestick pattern rule that we apply to it, it can't just be barely another higher high. There has to be a real body above the previous high that closes above it. So that makes it more of a committed move. Now, once we put in wave five, that is the only time we can now start looking for a double top. Again, double top meaning the end of a trend. So you've got to have a trend started. So here we go, and this is where we come back down and then we retest this high. All right, now again, that's still not enough. That's the price pattern. We're retesting that high. Now we have the price pattern in place, but the question is, is that going to actually work? Will the trend end there and the market then go down? And there would be two reasons you'd want to know that. Number one, if you were long, take profits, lock in your profits at that point. Number two, if you wanted to take a reversal and actually short that, then that would be an opportunity for you as well. It could do it either way. So just remember the famous saying, we all know the trend is your friend until the end. And part of what that means is that the early in the trend, it's not likely to end. But the trend is your friend until the end means that the longer that trend goes on, the less likely it is to continue because it's not your friend anymore. So therefore, what else do we look for? All right, not just the wave count, that's number one. How far has this trend been going? How extended is it? That's number one. Then we look for a cycle high. By the way, if um, you want my cycle indicator, I'd be happy to share that with you. Just send me an email at barry at topdogtrading.com and I'll show you how to get this indicator absolutely free and my tutorial on how to use it because it's very hard to read unless you know how to use it, then I make it real easy for you on how to re uh, read it. But there's false signals and there's good signals and I have to share with you the, the difference. And then the uh, final thing we look for is a momentum shift. 
a momentum shift. And that's what we see here. That's this black line. When this line goes from magenta to black, that means that now momentum has gone from bullish to bearish. So you'll see here, for example, that um, momentum was still, I mean, it goes between black and magenta, but we're looking for it to stay solid. When it does go a little black here at that high, then the market does end up putting in a little bit of a lower low, right? Because these are just short-term signals. That's actually a long signal there. Um, but what we're looking for is the confluence of all this stuff. You can't trade any one of these indicators. The indicators only do what they promise, which what? Indicate, right? They just indicate. They don't tell you anything. They don't make you money. If indicators made you money, we'd call them money makers. So they're one piece of evidence of one of the energies in the market, and you put together the pieces of evidence in a methodology that makes you money. So the pieces of information we're putting together here is extended trend, we re, uh, retest that high at a cycle high with lower momentum. When you put all three of those together, and then we have the uh, double top trading chart pattern on the stock market, when you put all that together, then we have a probability scenario. So that's what to look for. All right, maybe I'll do another video showing you double bottoms too. We run out of time here. So if you like this video and you're watching it on YouTube, um, please click the thumbs up icon below and leave a comment because that encourages me to give you more free tutorials here on YouTube. Also, I'm giving away one of my favorite trade strategies called the rubber band trade, which has an extremely high win-loss ratio. It's a very simple strategy. You can learn it in about 26 short minutes. So I'll give you that video explaining the trade strategy absolutely free when you simply click on the image in the top left corner, or if you're on a mobile device, click on the little eye with a circle around it in the top right-hand corner of this video. And if you're not watching the video on YouTube, there's probably a link or an opt-in form somewhere on the webpage. And I will personally email this video to you, along with some videos that explain more about other patterns, head and shoulders, double tops, double bottoms, triangles, and again, how you put these things together as a professional does.